YouTube. So today we are going to learn one of life's essential skills, how to throw a successful dinner party. Now I myself do not know how to throw a successful dinner party, but lucky for you, I happen to be close personal friends with a dinner party thrower guru. So come with me and I will take you along to teach you how to successfully master the skills of throwing a successful dinner party like a boss. Because that's really my game, is to expose and exploit all of my friends for what they're good at doing to teach you. So you're welcome. Step number one, pick a fabulous guest list. Provide pre-dinner entertainment in the form of multicolored animals. Nothing whets the appetite quite like cuteness. What the color? Periwinkle. Yes, he's. Well, he's painted. He's turning into a unicorn. It's a dog of a different color. Oh, you're cute too. Say hello. You have a hard time looking for someone. Hello. Step number three, provide a home gym or for a pre-meal workout to ensure that your guests have worked up an appetite. Home gym. <gasps> it's beautiful. I love the smell of fresh rubber. We are going to play in here tonight. A few more vodkas and we'll be having pull-up competitions. Number four, hire beautiful women to serve delicious appetizers. <laughs> this is Layla. So, and what are we serving here, Layla? What we have here is a beef <laughs> carpaccio with a truffle Dijon aioli on a purple oh, potato chip. That. Which sounds amazing. <laughs> yes, of course I'm going to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Layla, what's your, what's your catering business called? It's called El Cuisine. I have the logo here oh, if you'd perfect. like to see. <laughs> That's perfect. I should have shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shout out. Hashtag <laughs> um, Yes, Layla, I would love to try one. Wonderful. Oh, let's get that out to you. Just get the follow. Can I just take it with my hands? Well, no, not before I actually. Really good. That's what it is. Raw is key. <laughs> All right, what do we got now? Jerk. This is our jerk marinated prawns with avocado and charred corn salsa and an Argentinian chimichurri sauce. That sounds amazing. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> the, the jerk prawn shrimp with avocado. You would like that. <laughs> How was it? Awesome. There you go. Uh, lesson to the little ones, don't speak with your mouth full. <laughs> Step number five. Set the table like the queen is coming. So for our last course, oh my it's God. a flourless tour with our caramel crunch, with crumbled brown crackers, mm. sticky toffee pudding, and Uh, marshmallow fluff and pork marshmallow ice cream with chocolate meringue mm. and garnished off with um, oh and our pecan peanut butter. Oh my god! I don't blame you for forgetting. Like there's a lot. What is this? <laughs> there used to be like eight components to this, but then we just like we've got to take so much money. You sampled by it. It's like four or five. What do you mean? No, no. You can bring us more dessert. Amazing. That's fine. Yeah. Cool that. Thank you. <laughs> It looks awesome. awesome. Yeah. This, is, this, look at this table. This is a house party. Karen. This is insane. I'm excited, man. When did you arrive in yesterday? Pinterest is a wonderful thing. This is what happens when you come to dinner at the McKinnon's house. Step number six. Be sure to include individual printed menus with each guest's name and a detailed description of the culinary bliss they are about to embark on. Because we each have our own personalized menu. Oh, 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 this is Darren's seat. Oh my gosh, yeah, pull it up. 
Wow. So we are having <laughs> smoked butternut squash and Ontario apple soup. That sounds amazing. With maple creme fresh. I need them to read it because I don't know how to pronounce oh, okay, half the yeah. stuff. All right. <laughs> Step number seven. When the chef makes a special appearance at the beginning of each course to explain what we are about to eat and how it was prepared, it just makes the food taste better. Our first course we have our smoked garnet squash soup with our maple crema, which is garnished with um, micro zesties and a little bit of chives. Enjoy. Thank you, Thank so you Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. This is the soup that this is the soup she was referring to. So for our second course, we have our 24 hour braised beef short ribs. What we do is we brine it for three to four days, take it out of the brine, roll them in broth on the outside, and then we braise it for 24 hours in our jus. And it's called a remy, which is a secondary jus when we make our red wine production. It looks awesome. Mm, it smells with, awesome. Uh, sauteed mushrooms with truffle oil, finished off with chili, onions, coffee, and duck fat, and uh, finished off with our parsnip and celery curry. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This, is, this is what she's talking wow. about. Right can you, send, can you send that to me from here? You're, yeah. you're Happy birthday, dear Swannies. Happy birthday to you. Step number eight. Have a solid playlist that coordinates with the inebriation levels of your guests. When they hit sing-along level of drunkenness, you know you're headed in the right track. So if you like this video and you want to learn more life skills, please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff.